So, Butanari. This one's a very simple fetish slash tag that I can put it in three words. Chicks with dicks. With every single tag out there, there's always those who enjoy it and those who aren't into it. I personally was the former. I don't exactly see the appeal of female with penis and if honestly if I want to see some dicks, I might as well read some yaoi doujins. But circumstances can change preferences and everything changed when I was recommended a game that sort of converted me from someone who don't like futanari to someone who enjoys them. It all started when one of my friends told me to play COC. No, not Clash of Clans. It's Corruption of Champion, and if you already knew this game, you are a certified legend. Corruption of Champion is essentially a turn-based role-playing game where most action happens through clicking various buttons. TLDR is a single-player text-based adventure game created by uh, Fenovo. Story follows the player character, a young adult from the village of Ignam, who has been sent to the demon realm called Marif as a sacrifice to keep Ignam safe from the demon's raid. Um, the player character starts as an ordinary human with the goal of taking down the demon empire, but based on uh, our actions, this may not be the final outcome. This essentially means that anything could happen to your character. For example, my previous playthrough, I was a man who've grown D-cup breasts that lactate, and my anus has been violated multiple times, and I also have given birth to weird things through said holes, which was filled with an egg from a witch. And I also got addicted to milk and almost died from it. Yes, it's very complicated. At a certain point in the game, I tried to go to the gym in order to increase my strength stat to win over the end princess heart in a tournament. And in that gym, there's this hyena girl named Heko that proclaimed herself as the alpha of the gym and asked if I was looking for a training partner. In case you don't know, real life female hyena has pseudo penis and their social hierarchy is mainly matriarch. And you do not want to be the lowest ranking male hyena, I'll tell you that. Anyway, when you accept her offer, she leads you to a locker room and force herself on you, orally and anally. Um, the only way that you can be dominant against her is to attempt to challenge her through an arm wrestling contest. Um, when I first met her, I went through all I previously mentioned, and as someone who don't like dicks in your face, it pisses me off so much that I made a goal. Train myself more so that I can eventually overpower Heko. Don't get me wrong, before I get to overpower Heckle, she overpowered me way too many times I've lost count of my experiences in that back room. Um, eventually though, I managed to get strong enough to win against her in the arm wrestling contest, leading me to do the penetration instead of being penetrated for once. You see, at this point, I don't, I don't care whether she has a dig or not. It's about the loss of domination that powered me through and the presence of penis is irrelevant. I can say that this is the turning point for me. Now, let me deviate from my anecdote for a second and focus on the side of psychology. There's this little uh, experiment called Little Albert, which was a control experiment showing evidence on classical conditioning in human. For those who don't know what classical conditioning is, I'll try my best to summarize it in a simple way. Um, imagine a dog, and every time you ring a bell, you show the dog a food. Over time, the dog will uh, be conditioned to salivate in the sound of the bell because they will be expecting food whenever the bells ring. Over time, you don't even need the presence of the food for the dog to be salivated. You just have to ring the bell and the dog will immediately know what comes afterwards. That is basically what classical conditioning is. Anyway, um, after observing children in the field, Watson, the author, hypothesized that 
The fearful responses of children to loud noises is an innate, unconditioned response. He wanted to test the notion by following the principle of the prison known as classical conditioning, which I just uh, explained. Um, he could use this to unconditioned response to condition a child to fear a instinctive stimulus that normally would not be feared by a child. Um, this experiment spawned a subcategory called generalization, which is the tendency to respond in the same way to a different but similar stimuli. For example, little Albert was conditioned to fear white rats in this experiment, but that fear generalized to a wide variety of similar white objects such as coats and Santa Claus beard. Now, I would say that my dislike of Futanari was distinguished the moment I got over it with Heko, but it didn't end there. My dislike of Futanari was gone and it got generalized, not only to Heko but to other female characters with dicks. For example, the cat girl that ambushed you will unwillingly in the alleyway, Catherine, has a 9 inches can 9 phallus. I had to look that up. It's been a while since I last played this game. Anyway, I proceed with her route and I even managed to help her enlarge her phallus with some incubi milk. Because she likes it that way. It's bad for me and my back way, but who cares? There's a lot of character that will, you know, use your anus eventually. For example, that sandwich in the desert. So eventually, this game desensitized the player toward this kind of stuff. Now, going back to Dojin, especially with the new me, I don't have any strong negative feeling whenever I see the Futanari tech, unlike my pre-COC self. And to help you understand this, um, I will let you guys do some research on these codes. If you're someone who enjoys watching H more than reading uh, Dojin, then maybe give that a try, see if it has any different compared to reading Dojin. Now, if you still don't get the appeal, don't worry. I understand that everyone has their own uh, preferences, and maybe you will find this tech bearable, or maybe you will not. But however, if you're still not sure, my advice is just explore deeper into this rabbit hole. Because the more you explore, the more you'll find, and maybe is the one thing that can open up your mind to it because it worked for me, so it might work for you. Now before I end the video, some people might ask, is it gay to like Futanari? Well, in my opinion, this is a really subjective topic that is different for every individual. But personally, I don't see Futanari as gay because I still see these people as female. But with an addition of male genitalia on female genitalia. And I live by a code. If you want to penetrate, prepare to be penetrated yourself. <laughs>